bad. In this video, we head up to Kaikoura to freedive, spearfish, and explore bushet shells. It's an offshore reef that rises up from about 400 metres down to within 5 to 10 metres of the surface in a couple of places. It's usually dove by divers with tanks due to most of the spots along the reef sitting about 25 metres down, apart from the odd pinnacle which nears the surface. <laughs> Once we'd made it to the shoals we found out that the old fish finder was faulty. With no GPS points at the exact locations of these pinnacles, Nathaniel volunteered to drift behind the boat and depth check for a diveable spot. What do you got for us? Still too far, eh? Shit. <laughs> Where He's our bottom finder. Okay. Yeah. It's It's never going to happen. Alright, if he comes out, then he's out. Not too deep. Yeah, for fish. Dive the coast from the way back. There's a reef there, but you're not going to snorkel it. Ah. It's about 15, 16, 17. It's such a tease, eh? Oh. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I want blue, not orange. <laughs> Oi! Sorry, sorry, mate. Look at the joke. Look at the lot. Decent size. You're gonna measure it just for the camera. Yeah, you're gonna measure the camera. <laughs> we'll see here. It's good, to, you know. It's good. Whoa! Don't let it go over. Don't Imagine that. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> As the wind started to pick up, we shot back into the coast to go for a dive. Um, pretty questionable, isn't it? Right. Making a mess of this. <laughs> Fair enough. Absolutely shocking biz, we decided to head round a point hoping to find some clearer water. As we popped around the point, we noticed some fish working on the surface. We we're pretty surprised to find out what they were. Unfortunately, the viz was still pretty average, but it didn't seem to make a difference when there was this many fish about. I've never seen butterfish like that, eh? Shit, yeah bro, you can drop down to the rock. Within 20 seconds you'll see at least. In 5 or 6, yeah. Get in here. <laughs> Oh, 
Nathaniel. <laughs> oh man, good. <sighs> man, I don't know how I got that. Here's I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this camera. There is an entire pot of dolphins out on the horizon there just going nuts, like fully exiting the water. Backflips, baby. <laughs> Look at them go. I was off enjoying the dolphins, Chris and Nathaniel decided they'd had enough of the butters and it was time to find some craze. <laughs> oh. 
That wasn't good. <laughs> Pretty epic, eh? Bust ups of butterfish. <laughs> I can't Pretty say I've epic. seen that before. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, she's been a humdinger. Um, probably going to go try catch some cod, but if you can't get onto those, that's pretty much us for the day. So, cheers for watching, guys. That was bloody enjoyable. Hopefully, that footage turns out alright, and um, we can get back out again soon. Ciao. Ciao. Our next episode sees us back in the hills doing what we love. Ready and I spend three nights camping up high, hunting for his first chamois buck. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. Oh. oh, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs>